Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your breastfeeding pump with proper cleaning. Learn all the tips and tricks on how to keep your pump clean and hygienic so that you can ensure a safe, healthy environment for your baby. 1. What is the best way to clean a breastfeeding pump? The safest and most effective way to clean a breastfeeding pump is to rinse it with warm, soapy water after each use. You can also use a mild dish soap or breast milk cleaner specifically designed for cleaning breast pumps. After rinsing the pump, you should thoroughly dry all parts before putting them back together. It is important to avoid submerging the motor in water as this could cause damage. 2. How often should I sanitize my pump parts? Sanitizing your pump parts is an important part of proper cleaning. It should be done at least once a day and after each pumping session to ensure that your equipment is free from bacteria and other harmful microorganisms. Sanitizing can be done using boiling water, bleach solution, or the dishwasher. Make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions for how to properly sanitize your particular product. If you're using a manual pump, make sure all surfaces are wiped down with warm soapy water after every use. This will help to keep your equipment clean and hygienic for future uses. 3. Can I use soap and water to clean the parts of my breast pump? Yes, you can use soap and water to clean the parts of your breast pump. However, you must ensure that all parts are completely dry before using them again. If any moisture remains in the components, it may damage or even break down some materials. Additionally, if you're using a manual pump, make sure to vigorously shake it under running water until all soap residue has been removed. For electric pumps, disassemble the parts and dip them in warm soapy water for about 10 minutes. Then rinse with cold water for an additional 3 to 5 minutes before air drying thoroughly on a clean towel. Be sure not to submerge any electrical cords or plugs in water during this process as they could become damaged or break down entirely. Additionally, never use bleach or any other harsh chemical cleaners. Doing so will damage the parts and can cause health risks if left on the components. If you need to disinfect your breast pump, simply use a bottle brush and warm soapy water for best results. 4. What cleaning supplies do I need for proper sanitation of my breast pump? When it comes to cleaning and maintaining your breast pump, the most important supplies you'll need are dish soap or washing solution for breast pumps that is free of oils and fragrances, hot water, a damp cloth or sponge for wiping down surfaces, disposable wipes for quick cleanings on the go, drying rack for parts that cannot be placed in the dishwasher, cleaning brushes specifically made for breast pump parts. These have smaller bristles than regular cleaning brushes, which help prevent damage to tubing, valves, and other delicate components. 5. How can I ensure that all surfaces are completely sterile when using a breast pump? This is an important question to consider when using a breast pump. To ensure that all surfaces are completely sterile, you should use a combination of chemical and physical sterilization methods. Chemical sterilization involves using a solution such as boiling water or an alcohol-based disinfectant to destroy any bacteria present on the surface of the pump. Physical sterilization requires more time, but it is a more thorough method that can help prevent cross-contamination between different parts of the pump. This can be done by immersing the pump in boiling water for at least 10 minutes or by using UV light sanitizing systems designed specifically for breast pumps. 6. Is it necessary to disassemble and thoroughly clean each part after every feeding session? Yes. It is important to disassemble and clean each part of the pump after every feeding session. Proper cleaning ensures that all milk residue and bacteria are removed from the parts and that your pump will remain in working order. It also helps reduce the risk of contamination and eliminates any potential buildup of bacteria or mold. If you don't have time to properly clean each part after every session, Consider investing in a dedicated sterilizer specifically designed for breastfeeding pumps. This device can quickly sanitize several pieces at once, 
making post-session care much simpler. And if you find yourself away from home during pumping sessions, be sure to bring along some alcohol wipes to wipe down the parts between uses. 7. Should sterilized solution be used in addition to hot soapy water when it comes to cleaning breast milk pumping system components? Thus, it is advisable to use a sterilized solution in addition to hot soapy water for cleaning and sanitizing your breast milk pumping system components. Sterilization solutions are designed to kill any bacteria, viruses, or other pathogens that resistant to heat and soap. Be sure to follow the instructions on the package of your chosen sterilization solution carefully. Additionally, be sure to always keep the parts dry after cleaning, as dampness can provide an ideal environment for bacterial growth. If you find yourself short on time, many new mother-friendly products such as steam bags enable quick sterilization without having to wait hours for boiling water or special solutions. This can help make it easier for busy mothers who need fast turnaround times between feedings. We hope this video has been helpful in showing you the best way to properly clean and maintain your breastfeeding pump. Cleaning your pump regularly will ensure it works optimally for years to come. So be sure to follow these steps every time. Don't forget to comment below with any additional questions or tips you have about using a breast pump. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe as we'll be posting more great content like this soon. Thanks for watching.